Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan, and I'm here today to help you with any problems such as one of many people that use fraps, frap, FPS gaming, and MMORPGs. Everybody knows they have problems with it for the simple fact that the files come out to seem pretty big, you know, three to four gigs just for a little five minute show. Well, I'm here to help you solve that problem. There's a little program called Virtual Dub that you can get off the internet. It's a free download. All you gotta do is just go to Yahoo or Google, type in Virtual Dub, it'll bring you to the site with a free download of it and install it. Now it's a simple program, you just let's say bring up Virtual Dub. Okay. Next up on your list, you go to open video files under the file tab. Uh, I'm gonna select uh, let's say this file right here. It's one I haven't done yet. By Call of Duty World at War. Okay, you just highlight it, click open next you go to your video and you go to your compression okay you always want to make sure you choose the right video it can differ from what you're wanting to do with it but most popular ones are MP, EG4 and XVIDs but as you go through here you'll see multiple different types you know but I'm just gonna go with the normal MP, EG4 video codec V1 and next you can go to the configure tab and configure whether you want smoothness or crispness and you could choose the data rate, data rate of kilobytes per second I'm just gonna leave those at standard for right now and click OK and then you click OK again to load out of that next you go to your file tab again and go to save as I'm gonna save it here in this you can choose any file you want to save it under you know wherever you want to put it me I'm just gonna put it here in my compressed folder on my desktop so let's click OK and double click that I'm gonna save this map name as revolution 2 and then hit save after that it's all gonna take you know anywhere between one to five minutes it just differs from different sizes of video like right now the total time estimated is 226 and rising usually they can last with a 4 gig file from let's say Call of Duty can last up to 245 you know usually that time is right on the money but you know it's it's a pretty simple program you know it just compresses the file from a 4 gig file it compresses it down to maybe 100 megs sometimes a little bit more just depends on what kind of video format you use and what kind of game it is that you're doing it with okay now that that's done as you can see the window has disappeared for the compression screen it will automatically disappear when the file is done compressing <coughs> so for now let's just minimize this and let's check something out real quick okay this is the fraps folder where all my files saved to let's minimize it a little bit real quick and this is where it should have went to compressed and let's shrink it a little bit more there it is right there revolution 2 okay and right here as you can see the original file was four million ninety six thousand two hundred ninety five kbs okay the shrunk file went down to 167,866 KBs. So if you ask me, that is a pretty darn good compression rate. You know, it saves you a lot of disk space and now you can delete the older file that's 4 gigs worth of your hard drive and just keep your little 200 megabyte file. You know, I would show you the video quality that it comes out as, but it won't show up with this video editor I'm using right now, sorry, but you know, I mean, all over, Fraps' biggest problem is that it does not compress files while videoing, while taking the video, because it is too busy capturing out all the frame rates, especially whenever you're capturing the 50 to 60 FPS setting on it. You know, that's why it comes out at 4 gigs plus in files. You know, this right here, this program, Virtual Dub, it will help you take care of that problem and save disk space after you've used it you know it's a simple little program like that it helps me out a lot because I do take a lot of fraps videos you know in the past and in the future I will you know but 
Well, this is Jonathan uh, from BPN on Call of Duty World at War. Figured I'd give y'all a little insight into the problems with Fraps and help you figure out a way to fix it. So, since I've done that, I hope y'all have a good day and I hope this video has came to some use for you. Alrighty, well you all take care. Have a nice day.